Hello, my name is Jamie and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at making a Minecraft character. Um, I'll split this video up into three parts and this is part one um, and in this part we're going to be doing the modeling. Um, I just thought I'd show you the finished character. Um, he's been modeled to scale, uh, it's been unwrapped and textured properly and there's also a basic uh, rig with just a few bones that you can use to animate all the different parts and make him move around and uh, do things. So um, yeah, that's that. Um, and I'll just switch over to my blank Blender file. Now in order to get the dimensions of each body part, um, it's actually easiest to look at the texture itself. So if you've got a Minecraft account, uh, you can go to minecraft.net and download the um, default character skin um, that you can use to play with. Um, what I've done here is I've just blown it up um, and added descriptions on top of each uh, piece so we can easily uh, see what's going on. Um, and this will also be very useful for when it comes to unwrapping. So. Um, I'll just move this to the side, um, and if you want to make use of this, then you can just go into the description. Um, I'll upload it so you can uh, download it and make use of it. So, um, what I'm looking at is, I'll just bring it back. Um, you can count sort of pretty much the amount of pixels um, that the game uses for the texture, um, and that gives you sort of the dimensions of um, each piece. So we will just model, do some very basic modeling to make uh, the model actually match those dimensions. Um, we'll start with a leg, and this default cube is perfectly fine for our uses. Um, so I'll just tab into edit mode, and from the front view, um, we're going to use the increment snapping here. Um, and I'll just turn it on so that it's constantly on because everything is just um, very square. Um, and I know that the final model needs to be about 1.7 meters tall or 1.7 blender units. And this cube is currently uh, two blender units big. Um, so what I will do is zoom in um, quite a bit and you can see um, the different uh, blender uh, like a blender unit is split up into 10 different squares um, so we will start by making the uh, model to match that um, so, I guess the easiest thing is to just sort of show you what I'm going to do. Um, so, just in wireframe mode, box select. And as you can see, um, as I'm moving things around, it's uh, locking to these square points. And um, now I know the leg is four pixels wide. So, I've got four squares there. And I believe it's 12 tall. So, that's. 10 and then 12 so uh, the 4 by 12 uh, by 4 so we've got one leg there um, now the legs on the character are straight up in the center so I'll put that there and I can even shift D uh, right mouse to cancel the transform and just move it there, so we've now got two legs. Uh, the arm is exactly the same dimensions, so I can just hit the L key to select everything that's linked, and again Shift D, and I'll just move it up there. Shift D one more time, and we've got that. Now the body is essentially, uh, make sure Shift D to duplicate, uh, twice as wide as the other components. Now with this still selected, I'm just going to hit Z to go into wireframe mode, and then B and middle mouse button 
to select rather than your left mouse button and that deselects so now I can just easily move this across without accidentally selecting some other component um, so that's just about there and then the head is a cube which is uh, 8 pixels by 8 pixels so I'll just duplicate the arm and just count one, two, three, four, five, six. So we want to go up two more, and then we want to go to the side. I think to either side. We'll make that uh, eight by eight, and then we'll just make the final adjustment. We can scale, scale S, Y, and then two, and that will bring that up to be exactly the right dimensions. So we've got the um, base character modeled there and what we will do is add in uh, the hat um, which is a uh, object which typically isn't used but sometimes is um, and you can add just some extra nice little things to your character. So to do that uh, we're going to shift with the head selected so now we've got a copy of the head and I'm going to right mouse um, and it's essentially one pixel bigger than the head um, but whilst still being flat to the bottom um, and the texture is uh, still 8x8 but the actual on the actual model it looks like it's about one pixel bigger so I'm going to hit S and then shift Z to make the uh, model, or we'll try and make it one bigger, it doesn't look like it's working very well. So I'll just turn off this snapping with the scale, and then hit S, Shift Z again, and I've got a lot more finer control. Whilst it may not be exactly right, I mean I can do that again. S and Shift Z. So that's pretty damn close. Um, and then I'll just turn on that snapping again, select these two parts in wireframe and just grab that and drag it up by one pixel. So now we've got a slightly bigger box over the head uh, which can be used for the hat. Now as you'll see the character uh, by the looks of things it is currently one, two, three and a bit meters tall. So what we'll do is I uh, will scale it down and you'll see that the origin of the um, actual object is directly in the uh, origin of the world. So when I hit scale it just scales them down like that which is very useful. Um, if yours isn't like that I believe you can go to object, transform and then origin to 3D cursor and make sure you have your 3D cursor in the center of the world. If you don't, then shift S and cursor to center. So now I'll start scaling him down. Um, this is the two meter mark, so we want it to be below that. And we'll see where we get to the incremental. So he's dressed about 1.65 meters tall. I'll turn off the snapping and bring him up to be, say, just a touch over 1.7. So now um, all the uh, body parts still have the same dimensions um, as far as the arm is three times as long as it is wide um, and the head is still a cube. The hat is um, the same cube, just slightly squashed. Um, and the body and all that, um, it's all the same dimensions, it's just been made slightly smaller. Um, so for the modelling portion that's just about it um, and in the next portion we're going to go on to unwrapping the character. So I'll see you then.